Welcome to the galley and mess hall of Intrepid HQ. And what you see here right now is the XH Data D219 uh, shortwave radio. radio. Actually, bilili ko to sa Lazada. I'll link the a link where I bought it in the description below. And uh, this is basically one of a few radios that I have in possession um, uh, capable of shortwave. I do have a third one uh, na pa rin, pero it's so dilapidated na papaayos ko siya sa electrician. And uh, just, it just so happened that that electrician is also uh, a fellow member of... The Knights of Columbus in this parish. So shout out to you, sir. And uh, he actually is uh, currently uh, tackling one one other radio. Actually, the oldest that we have here in Intrepid HQ. The one that's antenna, tas para may may konting problema sa ano sa ano nun, sa wirings and all that. So I um I asked his ano I asked his help how to sort that out. And yeah. What a good combination. <laughs> Afternoon coffee and and uh, shortwave radio listening. I turned it off kasi alam niyo naman baka makapi strike tayo dito mga kababayan. But it's it's as Filipino as it gets. <laughs> Yun lang ang masasabi ko. So, oops. Munti ka na. Munti ka na mga yun. <laughs> Anyway. Tara ka pa tayo. And with that, let's start the show. The following video may contain sensitive topics. The views and opinions of the presenter to these are plainly his own. Furthermore, any and all views and opinions of the presenter do not, in any way, reflect the views, opinions, statements, and advocacies of his personal contacts, his family, his affiliations, and his profession. While the presenter makes a commitment that all content is original, he is obliged to cite references or acknowledge resources mentioned or used in the production of this video. This disclaimer is also written in the description below. So, you may be wondering, uh, where am I in these past few weeks? And uh, it just so happens that by the time that I was recording this, there's no internet. Because... Uh, some bozos uh, in the village where Intrepid HQ is uh, have stolen some internet internet cable wires. So that means the whole neighborhood does not have an internet connection for a specific um, telecom company. And uh, Intrepid HQ is connected to that telecom company. So yeah, I'm struggling. I have been out of work for around two days now and uh if this still doesn't work i would have to uh look for a co-working uh facility near intrepid hq and the nearest one is in either las piñas muntinlupa or san pedro laguna so malayo pa rin but i just have to work man i just have to work and uh, some people just disrupt uh, <laughs> the work that uh, people do. But you know, as someone who has been uh, in the in the media industry for so long, at least um, at least in the um, in the works of it, I've been monitoring news and information from multiple sources and and uh, it's been part of my life. So on this episode of The Intrepid Show, I would delve deep into one of my um, uh, one of my most uh, one of my most one of the earliest hobbies that I uh, hobbies and um, slash um, part of the, of the job things that I have uh, done and that is listening to radio more specifically 
shortwave radio. Absolute struggle. Sometimes. Don't move. Hi, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, I am Ian Trinion, an independent alternative media practitioner, among other things. And welcome to another episode of The Intepid Show. Now, you may be wondering, uh, since I'm in the media industry, one of the broadcast communication um, things or um, experiences that people have is uh, radio. So, uh, or listening to, ra- to the radio. And uh, to be honest, I've been dreaming of working for radio stations. And that's the reason why um, I really wanted to have a podcast of my own to at least have that kind of experience that you you can listen to me. But anyway, the Intrepid Podcast is on Spotify and on uh, here on YouTube. So uh, do check it out. I have a playlist on YouTube. Uh, I, I'm also on Spotify. The links to them are in the description below. So uh, you wouldn't miss out. I would have to think about the next episode, to be honest. And uh, it just ha- it just so happens it doesn't have to be this one. Because what I'm doing right now is uh, basically reviewing or basically uh, talking about shortwave radio. And uh, part of it is reviewing this babe, this uh, this little this little guy out here, XH Data D219. Kala D214, but it's D219. That's the name of the model of this thing. It's around 17, eh, 17 today, 700 Philippine pesos. That's around uh, more or less $15. Uh, I bought it in Lazada. Hindi ko na ina-unbox sa inyo kasi it's just this. It's just the radio. It doesn't have anything in it. Uh, it doesn't um have any uh internal batteries you have to power it with ano uh, with two double a batteries i have i have a supply of them for my other ano uh, other radios but before we get into this uh to this thing let's go- talk about shortwave radio for uh for a little bit so you may you may be wondering what is shortwave it's basically um radio transmission using uh, shortwave radio frequencies. So, kasi meron yung long wave, medium wave, and short wave. And what, when I say waves, is yung, ano, yung travel ng, ano, ng sound. Pag long wave, pag, pag ano yan. And it's, an, it's technically an extinct um, uh, transmission or an extinct uh, version of uh, radio broadcasting. There's just a... Uh, a handful of uh, stations that broadcast uh, in the long wave bands and the technology for that is so obsolete that it's no longer being manufactured. Medium wave, medyo, ano pa yan, medyo, uh, it's still surviving, but it's being obsolete at some point kasi nagiging digital na rin ng ano, ang uh, medium wave because medium wave is basically AM the AM band uh, in broadcasting. So in a lot of countries, it still exists. It's still the primary mode of, ano, of uh, news and information and talk radio for some. Although some of them uh, transition into FM, but that's another story for another day. And, there, and then there's shortwave. Shortwave is basically uh, the frequency set between three and 30 megahertz and what uh and it also consists uh high frequency bands on the amateur band around in around the 7 megahertz um frequency so and yun so basically it's in between medium wave and it's basically the am radio band and vhf or very high frequency uh kung saan na dun yung uh yung fm uh airband uh some analog tv um analog tv frequencies uh that still exist to this day especially here in the philippines and amateur radio so uh that's basically the vhf uh, no that's basically the vhf um uh, 
band. Shortwave can actually be reflected or ref- refracted uh, from the atmospheric, la- a- atmospheric layer called the ionosphere using what, what some call skip propagation. The ionosphere is actually this layer in the atmosphere uh, where it bounces off most of the radio transmissions uh, that are around the around the area of the ano of shortwave kasi anything higher than 30 megahertz uh it can pierce the ionosphere and get go into the atmosphere or pwede ring mag, mag- skip yan pero kasi ang anything beyond 30 megahertz sa VHF kailangan na dyan ang line of sight uh, it's no longer feasible kumbaga to uh, to do skip propagation uh if you're going to transmit beyond 30 megahertz that's the theory actually napaka napakalaking topic nun, pero i'm just giving you an overview of what this you know what the ionosphere is and what shortwave radio can do normally the ionosphere is thick by day, thin by day, and thick by night with a with a CK, not a double C. And then, uh, pasensya na rin sa glare kasi kailangan ko rin ng background light at uh, medyo uh, nagano yan, uh, nag-glare yan. So, maybe I can, yeah, doesn't work. Screw it. That's basically the, the ionosphere and uh, that's how shortwave radio works. Now, I have an illustration here on how how it works. So, this is the transmitter. Basically, uh, any radio station uh, that has a transmitter and uh, title, it, malaki kasi yung mga transmitter ng mga shortwave radio uh, stations. And there's actually one in, ano, in uh, Tarlac uh, that's basically the transmitter site for uh, VOA or Voice of America. Pero meron ding ibang mga ano, ibang mga stations na gumagamit din ng ginagamit din yung facility na yun sa Tarlac uh, for their own ano, for their own services as a relay station. So um kung hindi nagkakamali, Vatican Radio uses uh the the Tarlac site for uh for the Chinese service or the Mandarin service. Um uh, the Far East Broadcasting Company or FEBC, uh, the the people behind DZFE and Metro Manila, uh, they also have their own, you know, their uh, their own um, uh, transmitter side, tra- uh, transmitter sites in uh, Zambales and in the Cordilleras. Pero iba naman yung ano nila, iba naman yung um, uh, target nila. So those are the those are the things that uh, those are. Uh, transmitter sites that we have here in the Philippines. Karamihan kasi sa Luzon kasi the target area is around uh, around Asia. Now, this is the transmitter. And in the illustration, it's a big, it's large, and it's powerful. And yung ano nila, yung, yung angle nila, eh, uh, it, uh, there ito, just makes it, it, they make sure that the angle would you know would would target the ionosphere and then uh it would uh the ionosphere would bounce that signal off to uh to areas beyond so kaya kaya ko nilagay ng question mark diyan uh because it can reach thousands of kilometers away uh to uh to the listener or to someone who has a shortwave radio. So that's basically uh, how shortwave radio works in a nutshell. In the past few uh, weeks that I have been doing shortwave radio listening or SWL, marami na rin ako na, ano, na, na sagap na estasyon. Um, mostly using this very dilapidated analog um, transistor radio. This is my... F- one of the the oldest radios that I have here in Intrepid HQ still has this uh, analog design na bilog na ano na speaker. I have an uh, 
telescopic antenna na nilagyan ko ng copper wire kasi ako para parang <laughs> inexperimentuhan ko pa to dati na uh, you know uh, para sumagap ng signal and then there's a screw here Pinag- nilagyan ko lang ng ano yan ng electric tape there's a screw here tapos nilagyan ko ng ano ng copper wire so that it can you it can be a counterpoise or uh, be the antenna <laughs> Uh, instead of this telescopic antenna. And then, yun nga, uh, the, the problem about this is that it uses three AA batteries. So, um, compared to this one, dalawa lang kailangan mo dito. Ito, tatlo. Kasi, uh, may flashlight siya. And then, there's also TF, card, TF cards, USB. Meron pang mga buttons dito na hindi ko naman nagagamit. And then, yun nga, Kumbaga, may mp3 player to eh. But I'm not really into mp3 players. If you really just want a basic, want a basic uh, shortwave radio, transistor radio that has shortwave capabilities, but dito ka na. Kasi for 700 pesos, around 15 to 17 dollars, eh, tayo it doesn't have much, but it offers uh, a lot more than this. So, uh, I can still use this, pero parang, ano na lang, parang patapon na, patapon na to, or I can cannibalize some of the, ano, some of the equi- equi- um, equipment here with the help of, uh, of, of uh, the neighborhood technician na kilala ko, but, or electrician rather, na kilala ko. But then again, yun nga, uh, tatlong, ano to eh, tatlong, uh, tatlong double A battery so it's not really that um effect eh, ito the effective eh parang it's not ano uh, it's a bit counterproductive than this one there's also this um uh transistor radio that i have na medyo malaki but it offers a lot more bands pero if you feel test ko pa rin uh, after a few years it's been it's been a few years uh, that I have that, that I have that radio, more than ten I guess. Pero uh, nasa electrician pa siya, nasa electrician ko pa siya. So I would have to hear from him uh, after this video. So yun lang naman. And then that light that you have right now, I do have, um, I do have a power supply there that also doubles as a flashlight. And as uh, a transistor radio, kasi may FM, may AM, dyan, tas may shortwave din. Kaso, it's very lim- a very limited capacity shortwave radio. I think nasa 25 meter band lang yata to. Kung yun nagkakamali. If you wanted um, something to listen to, you can start with that. Uh, ilalagay ko din sa uh, description sa baba yung, ano, yung, uh, sa, yung link na pinagbilhan ko sa Lazada. But... If you really wanted a comprehensive uh, shortwave radio, I highly suggest you can start with this. One of the cheapest in the market, XH Data D219. It has seven, nine actually, nine shortwave radio bands. It skipped some, I know, some frequencies, pero um, it is what it is. Uh, ang pinaka-importante lang naman dito is... Uh, you know, you have uh, a long ass antenna, telescopic one, which works, uh, and you have a long ass uh, wire antenna. So uh, I fabricated this using uh, some alligator clips. Uh, tapos bawili din ako ng mga speaker wire, and it basically. Uh, it basically uh, it basically transforms your uh, speaker wire into a long wire antenna which would help uh, in uh, uh, help make a clearer signal radio signal for this and uh, I have recorded myself uh, doing field test uh, doing a field test of this of this radio uh, while I was in Vermosa. Uh, a few kilometers from Intrepid HQ, mga four kilometers, five kilometers from Intrepid HQ. 
uh, finil test ko to, and um, I'll just give you the uh, some of the ano, some of the clips from that ano, from that field test that I recorded. Flashback. Look what I found. That beeping sound is actually the shortwave radio clock station WMV. I'm not sure kung sa Denver ba to nakabase o sa Hawaii. But most likely sa Hawaii kasi yun yung mas malapit. Cote d'Ivoire. Radio Pilipinas World Service at around... 9960 megahertz 9960 kilohertz so that's 9.96 megahertz yeah <laughs> nahanap ko din sa wakas I don't know what language this is pero <clears throat> sounds Persian or Arabic uh, maybe a little bit of Urdu pero nabasa ko din sa shortwave.info Parang ano yata ito? Pashto. And this might be Radio Free Afghanistan for some reason. Pero di ako sure. Kasi karamihan ng mga nasasagab ko puro nasa Chinese language service eh. Uh, so, at least this is, ano, this is very, ano, this is much uh, a relief na ano siya, na hindi siya, ano, it's different. This is Vatican Radio. Matagal ko nang hinahanap to. Sayang hindi ko na-capture yung ano, yung um, interval signal nila na Christus Vinci. Sayang. Dito ako ngayon sa Vermosa. I'm just here to field test this shortwave, shortwave radio that I have been I have just bought XH Data D219 uh, Nilagyan ko lang ng, ano, ng uh, Alligator clip Para sa long wire antenna Para hindi ko na iaano Pero subukan ko na rin ano, Field test yung Telescopic antenna na ganyan, ganyan kahaba Shortwave kagad tayo Mahirap lang sa umaga hindi, walang, ano, walang, walang Active na st- station Ng gantong oras Kasi kalinitan sa gabi ang shortwave. Ang lalakas ng mga Chinese station, ha? Kar- kar- karamihan dito, puro propaganda, eh. Dito tayo sa may bandang 10, kilo- 10 megahertz. Nandito yung clock. Chinese station. Hahaha! <laughs> Tatalo ah. Medyo jam ah. Dinig ko dito yung WMV eh. Yung uh, station na nagtitik ng oras. Dito tayo sa 11 ano, megahertz. At yung pinaka-busy sa lahat ng mga ano, eh, bands eh. 25 meters. Oh, At least may, may naiipad siya, please. NHK. <laughs> Lakas ng NHK. Cantonese ba to? This is Indochina, parang I'm not sure if Laotian, Cambodian, or uh, Laotian, Cambodian, or Khmer. Or, uh, Thai. For all I know, baka Vietnamese to. Anong station to? By the way, nag-bike ako ah. Uh, Tawag dito, that's why I'm medyo rough. That's why I'm uh, medyo rough ang ano ko dito. At naka-helmet ako papunta. So, uh, hindi ako jempoy. Thai to, no, sir? Tingin nyo? Thai yung naririnig nyo, no? 
Short wave to eh. Mula sa ibang bansa. Ha? Mga 700 to sa Lazada. Sulit na. This is another Japanese station. Ito, ito, NHK or any other Japanese service. Partida wala pa tong long dong wire antenna ah. and given the elevation of this place around uh, 70 80 meters above sea level pwede na dun sa dilapidated na ano na radyo na meron ako na ito nakasaga pa ako ng ano ng isang FM station linggo yun na ah. FM station na galing pang Pampanga and uh, the reason why I know it's pam- Kapampangan it's the I mean Pilipino ako eh kumbaga naririnig ko rin ng Kapampangan tapos ang context pa nun live broadcast ng Misa <laughs> simula ng Misa yung na, na ano ko yung na uh, yung na sagap ko in the round around the 99 uh, 99 megahertz uh, frequency so parang nasa gitna ng DZFE tsaka ng Play FM sa, ma- sa Maynila so yeah this is Malay or Indonesian pasensya na kung may naririnig kayong ibang lingwahe dito ha nag nag-field test kasi ako ng ano eh Taiwan ha? Taiwan? Well, may mga naririnig ko mga ano, station na galing Taiwan, pero karamihan China, pero meron ding ano, meron ding ta- sa Thailand, sa Vietnam. Kasi sa Apari, di ba, malapit na ano. Uh, Ay, yung radio station, yung ano ata doon. Mga, short, mga shortwave station kasi to eh. Kaya, na ano ko, nasasagap ko eh. Kasi pag shortwave, mal- mal- malalawak talaga ang ano eh, ang sagap. Lalo na pag gabi. Partida, wala pa tong long wire antena. Pag nilagay ko pa to na tong ano, na tong wire na to, mas ano, mas lilinaw. Speaker wire, speaker wire nga lang to eh. Tapos kinapit ako lang ng ano, ng alligator clip. So, Lagyan ko lang to ng alligator clip. A few moments later. So mga kababayan, Lagyan ko na to ng ano, ng long wire antenna. Let's see what happens. Ibababa ko na yan para partida. Tapo ko lang to. Okay. Ganun lang pala yan. Oh. Ano, long wire antenna ang tawag dyan. Pampahab, pampa, ano, pampalinaw ng signal. Let's see what happens. Maganda na ito pag sa gabi. Sa gabi mo, ipipil test talaga ito. Tapos kapag ano, nakabike ka, gano'n mo to, ahon ka ng ano, elevation, mas marami ka masasaka. Tagay tayo. Yun, dun. Marami dun. Sa salasalabat na yung mga stasyon. I can't play uh, so much of the music. Mahirap yung makapistrike. Pero karamihan sa mga shortwave stations, uh, puro talk radio, so... Might as well. Let's try long wire antenna sa 10 megahertz. Mas malinaw! <laughs> Kaya lang may salasalabat yung stasyon. I really think ito yung sa Hawaii. Busy din to 9 to 10 megahertz eh. I'm not sure if this is Thai or Japanese or whatever. I can't tell the music. It all sounds so similar but so distinct. NHK ang 
Ang linaw ng NHK. <laughs> That's the reason may ganito para hindi mahulaglag. 700 pesos din to. Around $15. Anong lakas na ng mga Chinese station dito? Chinese station Spanish service ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué? ¿Por qué uh, transmitir en español? ¡Qué barbaridad! And that's basically the whole, I know, the whole radio. Basically, this is the field test. Tinanggal ko na yung, ano, long wire antenna. End of flashback. Okay, so, <laughs> um, I would link the full uh, two-part video of that, I know, of that uh, field test that I did uh, in the video description. Uh, so, uh, so that you can uh, understand the, the full context of all of that. I would also link some of the finds that I did uh, or either link here pero, or pwede yung ano, ilagay ko nilang uh, post-prod yung mga, ano, yung mga nahanap ko using this radio um, in the video description. So, yun lang naman yun. It's really uh, fascinating to even listen to shortwave radio in the 21st century because let me give you a bit of history about shortwave radio. Because it er- originated in the early days of radio. Kaya nga may long wave, may medium wave, and then short wave. Medium wave is about to die. Long wave is technically dead. And now short wave radio it has its ano it has its time limit yun lang masasabi ko but it did play a vital role in world war 2 and it's basically for propaganda purposes and to be honest it's one of the oldest functions of shortwave radio to date kasi most of these ano most of the uh most of the uh institutions that uh, use shortwave radio or uh, own shortwave radio stations or should I say operate them, uh, most of them are government related. Based dun sa field test, full field test ko, eh puro mga Chinese stations ang naririnig ko. And to be, to be absolutely honest, hindi ko alam kung bakit, pero yeah, um, karamihan kasi it's in the, in the, in the Chinese, in the Chinese languages, languages, okay? You see, there's Mandarin, there's Cantonese, and then there's Hokkien, and then uh, you have other, you know, other language, other languages that are Asiatic. Tapos na din ako ng mga Thai, Vietnamese, uh, Cambodian. Tapos ano din? Uh, meron ding mga Japanese stations or Japanese services, even Korean ones. Nakarasagap din ako ng North Korean, ano, North Korean shortwave radio broadcast. So, what the, what the hell, di ba? But, nakaano din ako, nakasagap din ako ng mga religious, ano, religious uh, broadcasts. Uh, KTWR in Guam, uh, Adventist World Radio from multiple places. And then uh, Vatican Radio, yes, uh, n- nasagap ko din ng Vatican Radio, uh, and it's iconic, ano, and it's iconic, um, 
uh, interval signal, uh, yung Christus Vincit, and uh, yeah, um, there's also this, ano, there's also this um, broadcast in Ukrainian. Vatican Radio broadcasts in Ukrainian. And uh, nahanap ko siya just a few days before this recording. Lalagay ko na lang dito. Now this is a very good out, uh, good find. Very good find. Vatican Radio, Ukrainian language service. Karamihan sa mga na, 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 nababasa ko sa uh, schedules, Russian service. Ito, Ukrainian sir, uh, uh, ano, uh, broadcast in Ukrainian. Just listen to it. Akala ko, akala ko, ano eh, um, Uh, uh, another, it's another Russian language service pero chinek yung short, shortwave.info it's in Ukrainian I can't tell the difference I don't speak Slavic but yeah nakakatuwa lang kasi um, uh, for all I know karamihan Russian uh, Chinese la- languages There are some Indian broadcasts. Um, there's also Indonesian ones. Ang dami mo talaga ma- ano yun, masasagap sa, sor- sa shortwave radio. Now, as a 21st century person, you're not supposed to be, ano, you're not supposed to believe what you have, uh, uh, believe um, easily in some of, these, uh, some of these things. Of course, I understand that. But it's just fascinating to know na this little thing, this This contraption, this contraption, uh, can receive signals from around the world in such in such a little frame like this. So, talagang it's a privilege to be, you know, to have this. And yeah, uh, I really wanted to uh, be an amateur radio operator pero kasi sobrang sobrang gastos eh napakagastos i do have uh, a Baofeng UV5R uh, that i used to listen to um U- VHF frequencies kaya lang minsan ano eh nakukulangan ako doon eh even this thing a USB uh, do- ito, ito uh, short uh, a software defined radio dongle um this is actually a knockoff kasi akala ko uh, ano lang uh, it sasagap to ng napakaraming signal pero kalimitan VHF UHF lang tapos ano hindi pa nakasagap ng air ga- airband but you can also listen to FM radio stations here uh and even some analog TV pero other than that nothing nothing more so this is a welcome i know this is a welcome uh, addition to uh to my, to the workstation here in Entrepid HQ not only for uh, a lot of things but also for uh you know uh for for a hobby so that's that just imagine mga kababayan pumapadya ka just wanted to do something then eto lang ang dala mo but but talikod ito lang dala mo uh, para na makakinig ka ng ano na music and then pag medyo ano ka pag medyo adventurous ka uh, i browse mo yung shortwave and then you can have this a long ass wire antenna napaka ano lang nito napaka mura lang nito this is just freaking speaker wire Uh, kapag speaker wire kasi uh, doble na siya eh. uh, it's two ano it's two wires in one pwede ba na siya ta- uh, ito, uh, hiwain sa gitna parang i ano i-divide sa gitna tapos uh, at two meet so, so kung two meters eto kasi two meters to eh so pag ano pag hiniwalay mo yung dalawang wire effectively may four meter ang- wire antenna ka so that's uh, 
that's a good deal kumbaga two in one and uh, that's basically ano that's basically where you can start in uh, listening to shortwave radio basta mag invest lang kayo sa uh, magandang uh, shortwave radio I would like to give a huge shout out to Todderbert uh, from uh, Chicago, Illinois in the United States uh, he's one of the one of the guys who uh, basically uh, reviewed this radio and it's the cheapest one of the cheapest in the market so um, at the very least I can I can also buy it here uh, on the other side of the Pacific so I, I, would, I would like to give a huge shout out to you man and uh, uh, have a good one so uh, yeah I think that's the video that's basically you know, that's basically the history of shortwave radio it's pro- it's for propaganda purposes and it's so prominence during the Cold War I was not alive during the Cold War. I'm just 30. I was born in the 90s. And uh, my parents uh, were uh, uh, lived through the Cold War. Kaya lang kasi, here in the Philippines, the Cold War is not that uh, prominent kasi nga, uh, it's, uh, it's much more known for another reason. And... Uh, just so happens that I have been, I'm recording this on the 19th of September, 2023. So, um, if, if you're a Filipino, you get what I mean. Now, but then again, around the world, shortwave radio is uh, prominent, not only because uh, it's used by, not only because it's used by uh, people, ordinary people, just to listen to, uh, radio stations that uh, that bring uh, news and information as well as hope for some people who are in places that persecute them, especially Poland uh, back then, um, dahil nga nasa Iron Curtain sila, and uh, especially during the 1970s and 1980s, uh, Vatican Radio was a, was a, a beacon of hope for, for most of these guys. So... Um, uh, it all started there at ngayon ano ngayon ano na sila military superpower na ang Poland uh, that's that but yeah uh, the cold war is very in- uh, very interesting as well because not only ordinary people have have shortwave radios but also um, government agents and and uh, and secret um and secret agents or agents of uh, intelligence uh, intelligence and espionage um, agencies have shortwave radio- radios for um, uh, for quite different um, quite different reasons. Not only for um, using information, but also to uh, find uh, instructions without having uh, without having a tra- uh, a two way radio you know, VHF, UHF. Kasi mas, ano eh, mas short range kasi ang, ano eh, ang VHF, UHF radios. And um, some of these guys have, uh, have are, are assigned to areas that are so remote that comms are absolutely haywire. Kaya, they resort to short wave radios. And uh, some, some of these, um, intelligence agencies have their own shortwave radio stations so that they can um, so they can uh, uh, broadcast instructions uh, from afar and most of them or if not all use numbers to uh, no, to uh, provide instructions to uh, to agents uh, globally and that's the reason why there are number stations uh, that still exist in the 21st century. So I don't want to delve deep into that, pero yun nga. Uh, if you played Call of Duty Black Ops, the original one, the first one, and even the second one, uh, you would know that Alex Mason has an affinity with ano, with number stations. So, meron mga number sa utak niya na, ano, na biglang nag lang. It's because of number stations. And, uh, yun nga. Uh, that's how it, ano, that's how 
uh, shortwave radio is used uh, during those times in the Cold War and even until today kasi malay natin, di ba? I'm not, ano, I'm not speculating here, pero the fact that they still exist, it's something. Pero, um, all, all good things come to an end. The Cold War ended. And during the 90s and the early 2000s, uh, shortwave radio uh, has been surpassed by other technological advancements such as satellite radio, cable broadcasting, and most importantly, the internet. Because of the internet, a lot of people now have uh, the capacity to uh, have information uh, at the tip of their fingers, literally. But then again, it still holds significance for those who need information the most, especially in war-torn areas. As recent as 2022, last year, as, as of this recording, the BBC World Service has uh, implemented shortwave radio to broadcast their signals into Ukraine and uh, basically also into Russia or in the direction of uh, of Eastern Europe so that uh, in uh, in its Ukrainian and Russian services or uh, Ukrainian and Russian language uh, broadcasts respectively so since na sanction ang ibang klase ibang iba't ibang klase ng mga, ng mga uh, media forms uh sa Russia, kumbaga naging backup or naging last option na na mga tao ang shortwave radio because as I said earlier, you can propagate the signal from thousands and thousands of kilometers away and it's absolutely untraceable unless you do your due diligence. So, uh, talagang ano, Sasagap at sasagap talaga yan. You cannot just, ano, you cannot just shut it down, turn it off, or turn it off. That's basically shortwave radio, and that's how it works. And uh, yeah, even amateur radio operators do shortwave radio listening as part of their DX, um, DXing experiences. So uh, yeah, uh, I'm just, ano, fascinated that this, uh, that this still exists. And I'm still um, grateful that this still exists in my lifetime. So I just wanted to give a huge shout out to um, to all of those who still li- listen to shortwave radio, uh, not only as a hobby, but as an uh, alternative source of information in this age of digital and technological advancements wherein you can uh, just browse the internet. K- kaya lang kasi, yun nga, as uh, ito, as I'm recording this, no internet coming in dito. So, no internet, no problem. This is your alternate, or this is your alternative when it comes to uh, knowing what's happening in your community, what's happening in your, in your country, what's happening around the world. This is your, ano, this is your, uh, sabi nga nila, ticket to the world. Kumbaga. Again, I would link uh, the Lazada link in the description below. I'll leave it in the description below, yung Lazada link. Uh, kung, sa, kung saan ko nabili to. Again, it's around 700, 600, 700 pesos. Depende na lang sa, ano, sa free shipping or whatever. Basta, ano, uh, it's uh, XH data, D219. So, uh, do check that out. Again, this is gonna be your ticket to the world. This is one of the cheapest in the market. And, uh, yeah. Yeah. That's uh, the next project that I want to have to ha- get is uh, get a DC5, a 5 volt DC uh, connector para mana naman, para ma relieve naman ako sa mga batteries. But yeah, so so that I can have an alternative to that. Anyway, I, that's all that I wanted to say. If you appreciate this kind of content, uh, leave a like. In this, uh, leave a like in this uh, video and share it around so that you can uh, tell your friends uh, this guy is uh, talking about shortwave radio for uh, here in, in 2023. So, yeah. And also, if you want to follow more of my uh, my videos, do subscribe to my YouTube channel, Intrepid Ian Rinyon, and ring the notification bell by selecting all so that you wouldn't miss any of my uh, videos, any of my future content. 
I am also on Spotify uh, because I do have the Intepid podcast. Do check that out. I would. I'm currently brainstorming for my next episode, but there are previous episodes already there, and I would love to have you listen to that. Uh, the link is also in the description below, as well as my other social media uh, handles. YouTube, uh, Facebook, uh, Instagram, not, mu- not that much. Twitter slash X, uh, andyan din, pero hindi rin ako masyado nandyan. Uh, but just in case you want to follow me at mag-update ako da- dyan, I would, ano, I would, um, that would be a plus. I don't have a TikTok and I don't um, intend to have a TikTok, but those are the, the those are the, social media handles that I have right now. So that's it for this video. And with all that said, this is Intrepid Ian Rignon reminding you to at all times be the salt of the earth and the light of the world. Until then, look alive, stay alive, be kind to yourself and to each other. And as always, thank you for watching and happy listening if you have a shortwave radio. From here at Intrepid HQ, 73, and see you next time. Ian out. Pangit ng delivery ko pero that's the that's the best that I can do for now. Just have to sort that out. By the way, next week tong yano i the field test. This ano this thing. Hi, welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, I'm in. I'm in. Ah, mali. Man, I mean, tignan nyo na lang para mas mas interpreti yan din yung ah, whatever. Buti hindi ako na ano nasita ng guard. Sir, ma'am. Buti hindi ako nasita ng guard. Ayo, bawal na tinel. Dito ka tomar. Hmm, dito ba? Sir, hindi lang mga Chinese ang ano, naririnig ko. Indonesian to eh. Pati Indonesian na sasagap dito. Ha? <laughs> Malay natin. Ay. Okay, bakit na ako dito? Alis na rin ako ni Berbosa. Baka paano pa ako. Baka sipasita pa ako kasi naka, naka-sandals lang ako eh. I gotta go.